happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to the first Photoshop tutorial of today. In this episode guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make a nice Gary's Mod, Gmod episode. Well, I mean like thumbnail for your episode. So I'm going to show you guys basically in a, like a really brief tutorial how to make a nice thumbnail for your Gmod videos. So I would say let's start off with the actual video. Okay, so now that we're in Photoshop, what we're going to do is we're going to create, like I said, we're going to create a Gmod thumbnail, a Gary's Mod thumbnail. So what we're going to do is first of all, we're going to open a project with the resolution of a thumbnail. So we're going to go into File in the corner, then we'll on new and then we're going to pick a uh, thumbnail resolution which is a 920 by 1080 pixels boom click on ok and now it, there's going to open a blank project and i'm going to show you guys how to make a nice gmod thumbnail it's going to be really easy like i said and let's go okay so now that we have our project open what we're going to do is we're going to open up the folder and what i downloaded from from gmod is a nice background of gmod a nice character with like, with a transparent background and like gmod proper so as you can see right here this is the folder and we're going to start off with the first thing which is which is the background so we're going to drag this guy in immediately on the good place so we're going to we're going to click on this check mark but i want to have it like a little bit more blurry so we're going to go to filter blur we're gonna pick Gaussian Blur and that looks a little bit better. So now that we have our background already done, so we're gonna like the next thing we're gonna drop in is uh, the character. So we're gonna drag this into Photoshop, and as you can see right there, this guy. And what we're going to do is we're gonna position this guy on the left of the le left hand side. We're gonna make this bigger. So we're gonna hold Shift because if you don't hold si Shift, it's going to be all all of this it's gonna be messed up. So you're gonna hold Shift and then you just wanna drag this guy up. So there we go. And also place a little bit to the left as you can see okay that looks perfect so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in um the gmod prop hunt logo so let's put that in real quick so we're going to drag this guy in boom and as you can see right there we have Jerry, gary's mod prop hunt so what we're going to do first is maybe we, maybe we can put them on the bottom i'm going to put this one on the top real quick like that i would say let's include the title of this episode in here so what we're going to do is i'm just going to go to do text one and i'm just going to write down something like let's say let's say we're going to write don't get me okay so that's like a really nice title so what we're going to make it a little bit bigger as always that one looks great so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this one click on options so we're going to add in some effects so as you can see we're going to add in some outline some glow and some shadow that looks, that looks way better as you can see right there and we're going to add in the gradient this one boom and this looks pretty decent guys like we have don't get me at the bottom then we have the gmod prop hunt logo and then this per this guy in on the left so it's that simple this is how you recreate like create a really nice thumbnail for gmod and it's that simple you've done it in one two three and boom so that's the thumbnail guys that's how you make a nice gmod thumbnail so thanks again for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below for more videos and also make sure to smash the subscribe button down below thank you guys for the continued support and hope to see you guys tomorrow for two episodes of evolving into a better youtuber and also in two hours for the last episode of well of the last photoshop tutorial today so i will see you guys in two hours